a man with a red cane walks upstairs. I was registered blind at age eight. By my 20s, I lost my functional vision. And by my 40s, I lost all my vision. My name is Brent Sturton. I am a photojournalist. I spend a lot of my time looking at the intersection between man and the environment. I'm Lawrence Gunther. I'm a conservationist. And my goal is to share my passion for the environment. A title, World Unseen. So I guess I should tell you a little bit about what I look like. Um, so me and you are actually pretty much the same height. I think you're marginally better looking, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I know you have very similar interests to me. Yeah, I, I, I'm always trying to give voice to the environment, and whether it's through indigenous people or native or Inuit. But it's amazing because they're connected to nature in ways we can't even imagine. I am a photographer who works on things like the illegal wildlife trade, on sustainability issues, just how can we go forward in a greater balance. I'm always coming back to the idea that animals just have the same rights as we do. Why do we make this assumption that there is a hierarchy in the world and we're at the top of it? I totally get what you're saying, you know, when I'm outside and my hearing expands because it's not bouncing off walls anymore and it stretches out over a big body of water and I can hear birds and the shore and the waves. And I think I'm so insignificant. So let me paint a picture for you. I went to Kenya where they have the last three existing northern white rhinos. And at the time, this is a 24-7 care situation. So you have these rangers that are with them all the time because they are that valuable, that unique. Pictures are great. But for blind people, it's still this whole aspect of our world that we have no connection to. What if I could present you a picture that is in a form that is more tangible for you than it's ever been before? In a gallery, Brent leads Lawrence to a large plaque with Braille standing in front of a photograph. I want you to put your hands onto something for me, okay? Lawrence runs his fingers over the Braille and reads out loud. A magnificent northern rhinoceros dominates the scene. His colossal head with a bump in the place of his horn. Nature deserves our support and in exchange, she will take care of us. Now I want you to come over here. Another plaque. And yeah. what you're feeling is this rhinoceros. Okay. God, you can feel the skin, it's so rough. Yeah. My oh, goodness. This is the weapon. The rifle stands in low relief. Now what you're feeling is the ranger who's scratching That's, his chest. Oh, yeah. that, look right there. That's, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Brave man. Lawrence touches the 3D photo. This is a whole new way of seeing. It's beautiful because you got the textures, you've got the raised and lowered areas, but it's still a picture. I've never felt anything like this before in my life. But what I'm feeling here and the differences in the skin texture, it feels a lot like the animal. People are going to go nuts for this. You think so? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so privileged to be here and experience this. Oh, man. It's this so... is my dream. Really? Oh, yeah. Brent puts a hand on Lawrence's shoulder. Lawrence rests his fingers on the bumpy skin of the rhino. I never thought there'd be a day when a photograph could make me feel this way, man. This is amazing. Lawrence <laughs> takes Brent's arm and they walk away. The framed photo of the white rhino surrounded by armed park rangers hangs on a brick wall behind the plaques. One ranger crouches with their hand under the rhino's leg, touching his chest. White text appears on black, world unseen, then a logo, Canon.